start whenever you're ready. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Razor's got a new mouse that can click and glide with a DPI of 5600. It's pricey for sure, but I think that I want it. Spec wise, it's a whole new beast. A new paradigm in mice, at least. It's got wireless macros, a battery meter. You'll be fragging so hard they will think you are a cheater. Okay, I think we got it. So last Thursday in the mail, we received what was either a bomb, a review sample, or a briefcase of money. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, depending which way you look at it, it was a review sample from Razer. So we got a sample of their brand new flagship gaming mouse, the wireless Razer Mamba. We got a sample of their new Carcarious headset. And I did have to email them for a pronunciation key for this because I had no idea how to say it. I'm pretty sure that's right though. We also have a Razer Destructor mouse pad, which is their recommended gaming surface for the Razer Mamba wireless mouse. So let's talk about what is so special about the Razer Mamba, other than the fact that it comes in 20 US dollar packaging. And this packaging is pretty cool, but you can see for yourself in a store. Okay, so it's wireless. Razer in their entire history said, no, we won't make a wireless mouse. They're not good enough. But Razer's engineers have got it down to one millisecond response time and they've maintained a 1000 Hertz polling rate. That means it's competitive with any wired mouse on the market. They've got a 5600 DPI sensor in here. So that's their new flagship sensor and they're claiming up to 14 hours continuous battery life or about three days of average use. Now I used it for about two days gaming every night and then leaving it and in general use during the day. That was my observation. Now another feature that it has is Synapse memory on board so that means it keeps all your settings, all your macros, everything like that right in the memory on the mouse. So marketing aside, let's talk about actual real world usability of this mouse. I've been using it for the last few days for all my Left 4 Dead gaming and I want to talk about how it works. So basically to charge it, you put it on the dock every night. It looks really slick on your desk, which is kind of cool. They've got lighting effects down around the bottom. If you want to use it in wired mode, you unplug the USB cable from the back of the dock, slip it into the mouse. So I'll probably get the cameraman to do close-ups of this and then you just wait a couple seconds while the software recognizes that you've switched to wired mode and it's off to the races. Now, once you're releasing it, you just hold down the eject button to the side, slip out the wire, and then you can put it back into the dock for charging in wireless mode. So we've had a whole lot of marketing speak. Let's talk about how it actually performs. Both I and G Porgy, one of the users on the NCIX Gaming Steam group, by the way, join up, we play Left 4 Dead almost every night, tried out the Razer Mamba in both wired and wireless modes against its probably its biggest competitor, the previous sort of ruler of the roost for wireless gaming mice. Can't remember exactly what it's called. But the problem that we both had with the other mouse was that we couldn't time the tank swings. Now the tank is very precise because he moves a little bit faster than the survivor. So that means you've got to time it so the swing reaches the apex right when you get up next to them. Otherwise you will miss. Now with the other mouse, the leg meant that every time we were off by just a little bit. With the Mamba, we experienced no such problem. Very responsive, both in wired and wireless mode. So now let's talk about the Carcarious. Maybe the less glamorous of the two launches we're covering today, but I feel it's just as important because for 99 bucks, you're not gonna find a better sounding headset than this. Music sounds great in addition to gaming, which is unexpected for me of this product. Now, it features 180 degree mic. It's noise canceling. I don't know why it would go back this way, but it does. And the first thing that some of the guys on the NCIX gaming group said was, what have you done to make your voice sound so clear? And I said, oh, well, I'm using this new headset from Razer. So the mic is of exceptional quality as well. Now it does have adjustable, uh, whatever you'd call that, it's adjustable. So it'll fit any size of head pretty much. And I also noticed that out of all the headsets that I have at my disposal, it has the biggest ear cups. These things are huge and they'll fit pretty much any head. It's also got some nice foam padding up here at the top and I found it very comfortable even when gaming for a couple of hours. Also featured on the Razer Carcarious mouse, in addition to the braided cord, is a mic on-off switch, a volume control, 
and a lapel clip, which I would attach if I didn't already have a mic on my lapel. And in conclusion today, I would like to apologize for that terrible introduction that I put you through. Um, the Mamba is an exceptional new product, if for nothing other than the fact that it achieves wired gaming performance with a wireless mouse, something we've never seen before. And as I said before, the Carcarius is an outstanding value at the price for a gaming headset. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.